asking the judge and the world for that matter to remember who the real victim is. They also want the judge to help their daughter feel safe again by keeping the defendants locked up for a long time. Anissa Wire and Morgan Geyser stabbed their classmate 19 times. The girls told police they did it to impress the fictional horror character Slenderman. They were just 12 years old at the time. Now, the family of Peyton Leitner, the little girl who managed to survive that 2014 attack, says through a spokesperson, again, they want the public to remember that Peyton is the victim. In a letter to the judge, Peyton's mom says her daughter slept with scissors under her pillow after the attack. She went on to say Peyton would not feel safe if either Morgan or Nisa are released back into the community unsupervised. There was only one little girl that was stabbed 19 times brutally with a premeditated plan where these two assailants had planned for six months and had different different uh, maps and ways that they're going to try to kill her. And so this was a very thought out, well executed um, attempted murder. The Leitner family also went on to say that they are pleased or satisfied at least that both girls took a plea because it will keep Peyton from testifying in court and Peyton has not yet ever spoken about the attack. Now a judge will determine today how long Anissa Wire will spend in a mental institution. Uh, Morgan Geyser will return to court on February 1st. Reporting live in Waukesha, Amy DuPont, Fox 6 News.